All right, folks, I am Tom Downey. Alongside me is Mitchell Renz. As promised, folks, we will move now to our NFL mailbag. We have not seen any of the questions, so you'll get off-the-cuff answers here. First <laughs> up from John Adelphia Eagles, if Cleveland doesn't hire Greg Williams, does he have a chance to be a head coach anywhere else? He might get some interviews. He should get some interviews. But my my so a chance, yes. Likelihood, I don't think so. But he will now have plenty of teams wanting him as a defensive coordinator. Again, as he should, he'll get some interviews. I don't know if he'll get a coach. Maybe he has to prove himself one more time. Because I mean, when you when you do well with one team and then you know struggle in your past, I'm still kind of like split up. But yes, Baker deserves a lot of credit for for the Browns as well. So I don't think Cleveland will hire Greg Williams in the end, but I think he'll get the, he's going to get the interview for sure. I think he's a legit candidate in the end. Okay, I like it. All right, so I guess some, some more comments here coming in. We'll get our Title Ones fixed for you guys. Steve Wilk should be given another year or two. How is it fair to get fired with a rookie quarterback and team everyone knew was going to be one of the most struggling? Well, the, the Cardinals thought they were going to be good. And I think in the end, the big indictment on Steve Wilk was not the rookie quarterback part of it. He looked outmatched. He had his best player demand a trade in the middle of the year. That's not a good sign for a head coach. Like you, I, I think Steve Wilkes is a defensive coordinator. I think he's got a good defensive mind. Coming into the year, the Arizona Cardinals had, I think, a pretty good defense. I think we all would have said they have you yeah. know, definitely above average defense. The fact that they went 3-13, and 13, David Johnson looked absolutely just lost on offense. The offense was the worst offense, I think, in the entire NFL. Couldn't put up points. When you have a rookie quarterback, Josh Rosen, yes, I understand – I just don't think the Cardinals are confident that Steve Wilkes can build Josh Rosen into what he needs to be. Yeah, that's fair. I agree with that one. Ed. All right, next up, I'm not even going to try that last name because I'm just going to get it all wrong. So, Golden State Warriors fan, what team did you think would be better than they turned out? So, Mitch, who was your most disappointing team this year? What team did you think they'd be better than they turned out? Most disappointing team? Yeah. I'll say the Green Bay Packers. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the Packers going to the playoffs and just simply because of the Aaron Rodgers factor. Yeah. I'd also say the Falcons are up there for me, but that was due to injuries. Minnesota Vikings. Mm -hmm. yep. I thought they were going to make around the Super Bowl because they were so good last year. They regressed in a big, big way. All right, from William, do you think that Marvin Lewis, Adam Gase, Dirk Cutter, or Van Hussen will get a head coaching job else, somewhere else, and if so, where? I hope not for Marvin. I hope not for Dirk Cutter. Vance, I get, might be interviewed for, you know, the, for the, the Bengals job. I could see Adam Gase getting interviews, the Browns, and even the, the – um, Bucks potentially, maybe even the Broncos, given his ties there. I don't know if they'll get a head coaching job this year, but I think out of all four of those coaches, the next coach to get his next head coaching gig would be Adam Gase. Mm -hmm. All right, next up from William Nix, he throws out the idea, Dirk Cutter to the Houston Cougars. I'm intrigued by that. I could actually see it. He's been an, a, a coachable head coach, Boise State, Arizona State as well, coached at UTEP, so he does have some ties to that area. Houston seems to want the biggest and the best. They want to go try and get Dana Holgerson. So we'll see what happens with Dirk Cutter. I could see it, but I'd be a bit surprised in the end. I'm not going to totally rule it out, though. I just don't know why anybody would want Dirk Cutter. I agree. He wasn't that good at Arizona State. He's just not a very good coach. He really wasn't. All right, Christopher Jones says, will Emmanuel Sanders be a Raider, and what team will Earl Thomas sign with? Uh, well... If Christopher, if you watch the Raiders report, I want you to check out the Raider Nation rumors, which I'm going to be breaking out some later on today. But I also have one around Emmanuel Sanders about two weeks ago being a Raider. I think he would fit the, the offense a little he bit. He fits every offense. He's a good slot receiver. It's just in terms of money, are you going to be able to pay him what Emmanuel Sanders wants? He's had injuries in the past. Um, is there's, he going to be a Raider? There's no guarantee that, that Denver's going to cut him either. Yeah, they I do think save they will. $10.25 million. I think they're going to cut him. I think when you look at the, the draft picks that they had, you know, with Cortland Sutton, Deshaun Hamilton, they've even played pretty well down the stretch. I think they're going to move on. I think it's going to be a clean sweep. They got rid of Vance Joseph. They're going to cut Emmanuel Sanders $10 million. What about Earl? I think Cart I think the Cowboys, the Niners, and Raiders are some of the top threats there. Okay. They all got money. They all got a need for a true free safety. Plus, we know the Cowboys love Earl. I would love to see Earl Thomas in silver and black. He'll take whatever team offers him the most money. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Paid. William asking, where do you think Tyron Matthew and Clowney will end up? The, the Texans will franchise tag Clowney if it comes to it. I think they'll try and re-sign Tyron Matthew. But if not, he's going to have plenty of interest. Yeah, I've seen some rumors maybe, of Clowney maybe, going to the Raiders. Maybe but... wherever Todd Bowles ends up as the D.C. Well, that'd be interesting. Yeah. But, uh, no, I think I think Tyron, I think Clowney's going to stay in Houston. Yeah, Houston's not going to let him leave. You don't see elite defensive ends of Packers hit the open market. You know, Very rarely. This dude is a freak. If you got free time, look up his uh, high school videos. They are or just hilarious. 
All right. They are hilarious. Terrence Yoder says, did the Falcons coach get fired? No, Dan Quinn will remain as the head coach, but there could be some coordinator changes coming up here in a little bit. Yeah, I'm hoping Sarkeesian is uh, out the door because I'm sick and tired of Steve Sarkeesian. All right, Roland says, what about the Panthers? They're going to keep Ron Rivera as well, Mitchell. I was kind of surprised. Uh, Riverboat Ron has been rolling the dice a little bit too much he for me. He was hamstrung by Cam Newton. kind of. A lot of injuries. Out. Also, I get the injuries, but they, they went from a playoff team to a very, very bad team very quick. Marsha says, so no Jason Garrett. Dan, well, they're in the playoffs. They're not going to fire him right now, obviously. Are, Frankly, you, are you upset that they're – do you think that by the Cowboys making the playoffs and if they beat the Seahawks, are they going to keep Scott? I hope not. Linehan has to go. Okay, so you think Linehan's going to go? He absolutely has to go. He's okay. held back this offense, barring a miraculous one, at which point teams go hire Linehan. Hire him as your head coach. <laughs> Great offensive mind, right? Right? No. I, I listened to you enough. I was going to say Hate on Linehan? There you go. I was going to use another word, but probably shouldn't use that on there. I'll get us some more questions here from your guys' mailbag here. You're watching NFL Daily. Rafael says, who will be the next Jets head coach? Um, it, give me the dark horse Zach Taylor. That's my early prediction. Very, very early and kind of rogue. What do you think they would even look for? Todd Bowles is more, more defensive mind. mind. They're, they're going offense. I promise yeah, you that. Yeah, probably with Sam Darnold around him. I'll try Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy would be intriguing they, to me. They might make a big... I could also see did. the Jets going out and getting Gase. They, they just seem to be a team that would just go out, take somebody within the division. <laughs> only, right. only God knows with the Jets. Right. Johnny Blaze, really three Blaze, but three Blaze, says Chuck Pagano in Denver. I think we'll get an interview. He's from Boulder, but that's just such an underwhelming hire for me. Yeah, I wouldn't like it. I don't want Chuck Pagano. I, I, I wouldn't give it. I don't know. One Chuck he had. That's just me. All right, some more questions. Again, you're coming in from Rafael. Will the Jets sign Lev Bell in free agency? I think they're the favorite to land him. I think they're going to. They will open up the checkbook. They're going to throw a lot of money at Lev Bell's way. Now, I know Lev Bell's kind of, you know, flirted with the Colts on Twitter and whatnot, but. And Instagram. And Instagram. Whatever team is going to offer the most money for Lev Bell, I think that's what's going to happen. But straight up, I would not want Le'Veon Bell as my main running back for the amount of money that he's going to want. He's going to want Todd Gurley kind of money. He's going to want David Johnson kind of money. And from what I've seen this past year, not offering him that kind of money. All right, King X Ice says, would the Cowboys trade for Jalen Ramsey? I don't think so because of what it would cost. You don't have a first-round pick. You can throw in a Wouzier, but can you afford Byron and Jalen Ramsey coming up in the very near future? I don't really think you can. I think it's better to keep your extra draft pick, too, and go invest in other positions. You're fine right now with Byron and Cheeto and Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis. No, I, I, I love Jalen Ramsey. I, I love too. what he brings on the field. He's a super tough player, but... um. I, again, they'd have to give up the entire farm. Shin May asking, will the Steelers fire Mike Tomlin? Shin May, what you, up? You want to fire him. They should fire him. I don't think they're going to. I think he's a super overrated coach. Look at their offense. Look at the team that they've had around him. What has Mike Tomlin done just the last five years? I agree with you. He's 3-5 and five since they won the Super Bowl. Who do the Steelers get that's better, though? He can't control the locker room. He's I got agree. a bunch of divas on his team. He does. You can't win with Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, Juju Smith-Schuster, Ben Roethlisberger in a pretty good, I would say, an average defense. Couldn't even make it to the playoffs this year. They can't scout cornerbacks at all. They can't scout cornerbacks. And the other thing, like, they just, they play when they need to, but they also are terrible when they need to. And that just doesn't make sense. You lose to the Raiders. Brutal. No. Get rid of them. I don't want Mike Tomlin. CR says, how do you feel about Jeff Fisher to the Bengals? <laughs> don't want him. <laughs> Feels like a troll question. I appreciate it. Oh, Absolutely Jeff not. Absolutely not. Oh, Jeff Fisher or Hugh Jackson? Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher. The answer is anyone but Hugh. At least Jeff's getting you seven Tom wins. Tom or Hugh Jackson? Tom. Mitchell or Hugh Jackson? Mitchell. Don't hire Hugh. Wow. He is okay. a massive, massive negative option there. I don't want Hugh Jackson. I also don't want Jeff Fisher either. <laughs> I don't want either of those guys. All right. What's the point of firing Marvin at that point then? Because there's, there's just no need for it. You know? Jeff Fisher is the most vanilla you could ever met. If you went to an ice cream shop, Tom, mm -hmm. and you order Jeff Fisher type of ice cream, it would literally just be ice in a bucket. That makes sense. Though. That makes quite a bit of sense. So we'll keep, we'll keep talking about Jeff Fisher because it just doesn't make any sense. Oh, I mean, he's we, never getting a head coaching job. Again. I mean, think about what he the Rams was. had. Jeff Fisher was terrible. Todd Gurley just totally spoiled his career, and then just ultimately, my favorite stat with Jeff Fisher is Nick Foles. Right? Nick Foles with Jeff Fisher, terrible. Mm -hmm. 
There's your oh, there Play we in. go. The, the answer is Jeff, by the way. I'd rather have Jeff Fisher. I'm, I'm going to tweet this out because I guarantee you there's more votes for Hugh Jackson. Because Jeff Fisher just has this. No, no, uh, no. Tweet it out. Let's see what, what your results are because the answer is Jeff Fisher. Okay. I'll take 7 and 9 over 3 and 36. And 1. <laughs> and 1. <laughs> and 1. You can't forget that one. I, Again, now, when I look at F Jeff Fish, his offense, he just wants to run the ball. Mm -hmm. The Bengals, they don't really have a... A great offensive line right now. I do love me some Joe Mixon, though. I do love He's me some Joe great. Mixon. I will say, though, like the one set I was talking about, Nick Foles, seven touchdowns, ten interceptions with Jeff Fisher. Mm -hmm. Before this season started, he had 54 and 17. Like, Jeff Fisher's just not a good coach. Uh, James McBride says, Lions need to fire Jim Bob Cooter, hire Adam Gase. I'm glad they bring him in as an OC. I think mean, that's fine. Cooter, by the way, his contract is actually up. So, you don't have to fire him, you just don't have to bring him back again. I think he just wanted to say Cooter on air. Jim Bob Cooter. There you go. Great name. All right, more mailbag questions coming in. This one from Joe asking if we slept in the office. Very funny. Focus 18, do you see the Broncos pushing for a quarterback in the upcoming offseason with their current position in the draft? Maybe. I think Case Keenum can be a good game manager. I, think, I don't think Denver did a good job of using his talents, i.e. play action and rollouts. The issue for Denver is you're stuck by the Giants and the Jags. Are you going to trade up for Dwayne Haskins? Maybe with the Raiders. Denver going to make a trade with, with individual? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Are we going to do that? Um, also, they I wouldn't trade Cleo Mack in the same conference. I, I get it. Also, I did not sleep in the office. I can't say the same for Tom. I'm I, not sure. No, we didn't sleep in the office last night. We were just up early anyway and home late. All right, Junior Ventura, who would be your Super Bowl prediction right now, Mitch? Who would be? Yeah, who is your Super Bowl, who, who's the Super Bowl? Uh, well, I'm sticking with the one that I've had since day one. It's Saints-Patriots. Uh, I've had it since the beginning of the year. I'm going to stick with it. So. I'm going to stick with my adjusted mid-season one after like three weeks. Rams-Patriots go out just in the dynasty like that. Okay. End it like that. All right, Leon Phelps, do you believe Jay Gruden will be brought back next year? I think he will. I haven't seen a, a full uh, locked-in move there from the Redskins, but I think he'll be back, yes. I'll be honest, I'm kind of happy that his picture was cut off right at his waistline because that was interesting. Um, Felicia now coming in with a question. This show is depressing today. Oh, that was, that was, that was a reference to the Cowboys not having fired oh, gotcha. Jason Garrett so far. See, there you go. Gotcha. And, yeah, I, th I, think, I think the Cowboys are going to bring back Jason Garrett next year. Yeah. Barring an unbelievably disastrous collapse against the Seattle Seahawks. Okay. I'm surprised because at what they were three and five, we were saying fire, 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 and he's just clapping along. He knows he's gonna get his job. Again. Good reason to fire him, but now he, hey, he rallied. Credit to Jason Garrett on that. If you can rally. Derwin says Bengals have put up with Marvin Lewis for 16 years, and now they fire him. What took so damn long? Mike Brown doesn't like change. He had, Marvin had blackmail on Mike Brown. I, I, I'm not really sure in the end. Nudes. Derwin, get ready for some nudes of Mike Brown coming out. I'm tweeting them. So get ready. But yes, Marvin Lewis finally fired now by the Cincinnati Bengals at long last. I mean, you're 0-7 in the playoffs. It's way over. Way overdue. All right, Christopher says, what about Maher missing so many field goals this year? Do you trust him in the playoffs? There are reasons to be concerned, but I will say this. He's hit the clutch ones in the end. So he's hit the ones that have mattered, Yeah, I he's think, hit the game winners. I mean, would you say right now, seeing what you've seen from Maher, Dan Bailey or Maher? Maher. I a, think he's been he good. Was, he's he had, he's got accurate. a big leg too. The Vikings weren't that accurate kicker this year. Like I think he's I thought he was pretty good this year. Maher hit about 81%, which isn't great, but it's average, about league average. So for a first year kicker, I think I mean they're spoiled a little bit with Dan. As, Dan, as much as I hated the release of Dan Bailey, the Cowboys seem to have made the correct decision. Yep. Also okay. cheaper. All right, Machine Gun Bobby says, "Who do you think will be the Bengals' head coach?" I hope it's Eric Bieniemy. I fear it's someone like Vance Joseph or Hugh Jackson. I hope it's Hugh Jackson. Mm -hmm. God, do I hope it's Hugh Jackson. I just want to see you absolutely go insane. I will just destroy the Bengals. <laughs> I will just rip into them. All right, John Adelphia Eagles once again says, all right, another question here. Three teams have submitted requests for Brian Flores, two for Mike Munchak. Are they good options? Flores, sure. I like Flores. I don't want Mike Munchak. I know he's a great offensive line coach. I don't think he's a good head coach. Where did he coach last? Titans? He was the Jags. Yeah, it's the Titans at one point, too. I think the Titans, Jags. Jags. Not very, I don't think he was very good when he was with there. He's Brian Flores good. is the sexy name right now. Yeah. Sexy name, everyone's trying to buy him a Young. drink at the bar, which I get. Yeah. But again, once you leave Bill Belichick and you leave the Patriots, as Matt Patricia found out real quick, life's tough out there. 
Look, Mike Munchak, three years, assuming he's a Titans head coach. I don't know why I said Jags there. Uh, three years as Titans head coach, 9-7, and 6-10, seven, 7-9. And and he's not that good. Great offensive line coach, perhaps the best in the NFL. I don't want him as my head man. Okay. Plain and simple. All right, Hydrotonic says Bruce Arians to Tampa. I think Bruce only wants the Browns job. The Bucks should have interest in him, yes. I don't know if Arians, though, has interest in, in the opposite. Yeah, from what it sounds like, he really wants the Browns job, but... I would be interested to see if he could get the most out of Jameis Winston. So one of my favorite stats with Arians when he had Carson Palmer in the pant or the, uh, Carson Palmer at the Cardinals, Palmer for two straight years led the league in air yards. Mm -hmm. Jameis can throw the ball deep. Yes, he's not always the most accurate, but maybe Bruce Arians could get the most out of Jameis Winston. But mm -hmm. from what it sounds like, it's uh, Browns or bust. All right, Felipe says, is John Gruden going to stay with the Raiders? Of course he is. That contract locks him in for many more years. Felipe, I want you to go to isjohngrudenfiredyet.com. Tell me how much money he's going to make. There's your answer. All right, next up, Connor Grace. Who will Dallas hire as the new offensive coordinator if hopefully Linehan is fired? We mentioned some of the other options earlier, whatever, two weeks ago, whatever it was. Maybe one of the fired guys. I am on board with Adam Gase. As long as he actually gets the ball to Zeke Elliott, he could make sense. I'm still on board with John DeFlippo if that's an option. Steve Sarkeesian? In, no, don't put that evil on me. Uh, <laughs> internally, watch out for uh, Doug Nussmeyer. He could be an option as well. Okay. Interesting. I like I, Gates would be an interesting one to me. All right. William says, do you think the Texans will cut Demarius Thomas, and who will pick him up if cut? I won't be surprised. Yeah, not at all. I, I think that the contract makes it like he will be cut. If he does get released, teams will have interest in he's able to come back healthy. No. Maybe Demar if Demarius well, is healthy, Adam Gase goes. If, <laughs> that's that's actually a good point. If Demarius is healthy, I think he's a still a top forty wide receiver, which deserves a you know a, to be on at least some team. But I mean, you got to look at Will Fuller if he's actually going to be healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, Kiki, I think he's definitely stepped up for the Texans, and maybe they draft somebody. I mean, you just never know. Mm -hmm. All right, Machine Gun Bobby says, "Well, since he's new head coach, release Andy Dalton." I don't know. Dalton's future is a bit of a question mark at the moment. We'll see if he does end up getting cut. You can cut him. The big issue for the Bengals is who do you have that's better? Who are you going to get that's better? You might just stick with Dalton for one more year and look in the draft. In the yeah, I would probably do that. I mean, I think Andy Dalton's actually a, he's an average quarterback, mm -hmm. which is, again, we are absolutely so spoiled in today's NFL with these amazing quarterbacks. So I think at times we see Andy Dalton, who hasn't been all that great, mm -hmm. and then we're spoiled, but... I mean, he's definitely better than Jeff Driscoll. For sure. All right, Kyle Bauer says, who is getting Joe Flacco? Yes, you heard right. The Ravens are going to stick with Lamar Jackson. Flacco's time is up. It's definitely who up. Who will get Joe Flacco? Oh, man. Dolphins? Dolphins. Telling you guys my Dolphins. joke trade rumor at the beginning of the year of Flacco for Tannehill all of a sudden doesn't make that, all of a sudden kind of makes some sense. Flacco becomes the starter in Miami. Tannehill becomes the backup option. Uh, I get it. I mean, Joe Flacco to Miami. I went, want Joe Flacco. You know how I feel about him, but um, it's been it's been a long time coming. I think for Joe. All right, Fart Warrior Gaming, gaming says, <laughs> got him to say it. Uh, how do you think Trubisky will do in the playoffs? I think he'll be fine. I don't see why you would have any reason to be Matt worried. Matt Nagy's done a great job of of getting him in position. To have success overall. I agree. Uh, I don't really see why you would really be worried about it. Trubisky's been good when he's been healthy. Uh, William asked if Bill O'Brien could be fired. I don't think he's going to. I, I don't think that's going to be a situation at all. Even if they collapse, he got them to the playoffs this season. He's not going to get fired. I will be stunned if, if he does. Yeah, I, I don't see why he should be fired. So they, I mean, they started what 0 and 3. I know that there have been they won the some division. Some issues with Bill O'Brien, but I think he's been a good head coach. I don't see any reason to fire him at all. I don't see it whatsoever. So, All right, folks, that's wraps it up here for our NFL Mailbag. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll have all kinds of NFL offseason coverage, coaching hot board updates, NFL rumors, NFL news, draft coverage. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys 